Welcome to our tutorial on building a deepfake detection system. In this video, we'll explore the fundamentals of deepfake technology and walk through creating a deep learning model to detect these altered videos. Deepfakes are synthetic media where a person in an image or video is replaced with someone else's likeness. This technology uses deep learning techniques to create hyper-realistic fake videos, often making it hard to distinguish between what's real and what's not. In this tutorial, we will use Python, a powerful programming language, leveraging libraries such as TensorFlow and OpenCV for our project. We'll start by setting up our environment. Now that we have our environment set up, let's load our dataset. For deepfake detection, a widely used dataset is the Deepfake Detection Challenge dataset. You can download the dataset from the official website. Make sure to prepare it in the following structure. In the data directory, you should have two folders, real for authentic videos and fake for deepfake videos. This will allow us to easily differentiate between the two types during our model training. Next, we will import the required libraries into our main Python script. This will help us in data handling and model creation. Let's create a function to load our videos, convert them to frames, and then pre-process the images to the required format for training. We'll resize the frames to a uniform size, normalize the pixel values, and store them in an array. Now, let's use this function to load our dataset. We will also split our data into training and testing sets to evaluate the model's performance properly. Next, we'll create our deep learning model. A convolutional neural network, CNN, works well for image classification tasks, making it a suitable choice for our deepfake detection system. We will now compile the model. The binary cross-entropy loss function is commonly used for binary classification, which suits our case where we are determining if a video is real or fake. Let's train our model using the training data we prepared earlier. We will set the number of epochs to a suitable number, say 10, for demonstration purposes. You can increase this number for better accuracy, which may take longer to train depending on your hardware. Once the model has been trained, we need to evaluate its performance on the test data. This step is crucial in understanding if our model generalizes well to unseen data. With the model trained and evaluated, we can now set up our deepfake detection system to process new videos. We'll write a function to check if the video is real or fake based on the trained model. Now, we can use our video prediction function to analyze any video file to check if it contains deepfake content or not. Simply pass the path of the video you want to check. In this tutorial, we've gone through setting up a system capable of detecting deepfakes using deep learning. We covered how to load data, build and train a CNN, and predict the authenticity of videos. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more deep learning tutorials. Let us know in the comments which topic you'd like us to cover next. Thank you for watching.